Okay, this is the eighth video in the series um, about coursework support for GCSE resistor materials. Um, this is the first section, however, in the making section, um, which deals with uh, planning for the production of the product that you intend to make, which is why it's called making section one. So this is the beginning of um, the section that follows designing and carries with it another 50 marks. So let's look at the mark scheme, same as um, previously. Now the layout of this is, is identical to um, the designing sections where you've got your three main mark boundaries and obviously the, the one that deals with um, the zero. Let's zoom in and look at um, the section that carries with it the most amount of marks, the top mark section. So what they're looking for <clears throat> is a detailed production plan that considers all stages of manufacturing, the correct sequence, including specific forms of quality control. So you've got to produce some kind of chart that demonstrates that you have really thought about each individual process of the production of your product, um, adding into that um, the specific materials, tools, and everything else that you're going to be using. Um, but also this, this key bit, obviously, in order to be in this top mark box, it needs to have evidence that you've thought of that quality control in addition to all of the other detailed uh, sections that are involved in that production plan. So it's going to be set out um, in the same way as a lot of your other sheets in that you're going to have your A3 piece of paper carrying with it um, that all important title so that the examiner knows um, which part of the um, design folder they're looking at in connection with the mark scheme. If you are doing it on a computer, obviously, you can just copy across your kind of page format to this. Um, and if you're doing it on a computer, you'll make a neater job of um, producing this kind of grid that I've started here, um, but obviously, as you work through that process, it will become slightly more detailed. Um, if we look at then um, the examples of the sorts of things that I've started off with, so this is this would be a fairly typical kind of start to um, your plan for production, particularly if you're using a, a laser cutter at any point within um, the production of this. So we've got at the start of it um, drawing out the front panel using um, 2D design software. Um, the equipment that's going to be required for this um, is obviously then going to be a computer um, and your design work, um, orthographics and so on to refer to. Um, I've made an estimate of 30 minutes time to do that. Um, my quality control check, what I'm going to do to ensure that um, I end up with a quality product at the end of my manufacturing process. So um, just as a check at this point, once I've drawn it out, I'm going to print it and I'm going to be then checking those sizes of um, what I've drawn against my original intention, which is obviously the orthographic drawing. So that's a quality control check fairly early on. And then in terms of safety, um, obviously you're using the computer, so you'd be thinking about your distance of um, your eyes from the screen um, and your posture and everything else associated with IT safety. Okay, um, after I've done that, um, providing it's okay in terms of the quality check, I can then move on to cutting out that front panel. I'm going to be using a laser cutter. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Once it comes out, I'm going to check the piece again in terms of sizes with my design work. So that's my quality check. Um, and my safety would be to think about the fumes and avoid obviously looking at that very bright light that the laser cutter produces. So you're going to continue on this in this predictive way of how you're going to be manufacturing your product um, and filling out all of those details. Now your teacher may be able to help you with some aspects of it if you're not sure how you're going to make um, a certain component. They will probably advise you on how you're going to do that so that you can bring your plan um, up to date. So that's the production plan. Um, obviously once you've drawn this up, you then move into the manufacturer of the product um, and it's at that point that you're going to start keeping your photographic diary. Okay.